Yo guys, Wolfish here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be covering the Fears to Fathom. It's like a horror game which consists of multiple episodes. Uh, the one I'm gonna be covering today is uh, Norwood Hitchhike. We're gonna assume uh, a role of a hitchhiker who's gonna encounter some interesting people. As soon as it loads. Fears to Fathom, episode 2. Okay. Norwood Hitchhike. Really interested. If this is gonna be good, we'll be interested in trying out the other episodes as well. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out uh, for the internet at first. Uh, but getting in, getting out may help, even if just a little for a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get a chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Uh, though my parents weren't always thrilled uh, at the idea of me going th going on in interstate drives, but the plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I sent out when I sent off, I can't read. I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take that long way, the long way to avoid the traffic. Uh, I was a little over a 12 hour drive. Really? How can you... Were you that desperate to attend a gaming convention? Oh. Wow, we get to drive. Oh, we got a text message. Uh, stuck in the biggest traffic of la la la. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm rerouting here. Drive safe, leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Okay. How do you close the message? Okay. Oh, press space to get out. Okay, fine. Um, what's the point of getting out though? I don't think I'm... don't think I'm there yet. Ooh. That okay? Never mind. Just keep on driving. See what happens. Not a really good idea to drive and text, but ah, whatever. Still got six hours. Okay. Oops. Like I said, who cares? Uh oh. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, I thought I messed up the car for a second. You just randomly realize that you're out of gas. How, how convenient. And here I thought, how are we gonna meet interesting people? Told you to take that flight. Uh huh. Would have been so so much easier though. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be late when you reach back home. Oh, hope you're feeling right. Okay. Come on. Don't give up on me, car, please. Really not in the mood to meet. Oh, I suppose... We need to get here. Do we have money? Uh, 
it's a little bit slow. Can I run? I guess not. Hey there. Ma'am? Uh, hi. Can, oh, I'm playing as a girl. Okay, now it makes sense. Can I get $10 and a pump too? Okay. What's going on? Okay, never mind. You're heading to the bridge by yourself. The bridge? The North Valley Road, I mean. Not, not a lot of people head down there th this time of year. Um, be careful. Um, what do you mean? For a bad century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Uh, well, thanks for gas. Locals say Norwood Valley monst monster uh, had turned them up and hung them upside down trees. Cool. Um, well, thanks for the gas, I guess. Why would I use a toilet? You heard about North of the Valley Monster? How's your night going? Where you head? He just looked at me. <laughs> huh. Never mind. The North of the Monster, you know anything? Big mistake. What the hell? Oh, this guy is playing solitaire. Okay. Pump to this. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Uh, just step on gas as hard as you can. Uh, who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on the prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered there. Okay, regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they aren't what you think, ma'am. Okay? They just ain't, okay? I'll play it back. Could you get something from Milo? I don't know. Uh, Pump two. Okay. Need to park correctly first. There we go. Testing out my driving skills. Okay, okay. Too far. Just about right. Fill the tank and I was off on the road again. Okay, nice. Since mom asked, I had to buy something from Milo from the store. Ah, uh, Jesus, not this. You just. Then someone shows up. You could have easily left and telling your mom, oh, sorry, didn't have time or didn't see your message. Okay, what exactly does she need? Um. Dog food. Okay, fine. Dog food. Can I ask the guy for help? It's so weird, do you like do you can you find dog food at the petrol station? Some cereal. Ha. Huh. Really? Okay.
anything here? Nope. Ah, there we go. Excellent. That'll be five dollars. Okay, here you go. <whistles> Don't mind me, just going back to my car. Something tells me I won't be able to drive it though. Okay. I put that in the boot. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. G. Okay. And I'm on my way. Huh. And nothing happened, so weird. It's pretty sure. It's pretty sure gonna meet someone. A little bit slow. The atmosphere is pretty creepy. I really like the being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Okay. Don't really want to read that text. Do you have to? It's not expired or anything. Okay. Yeah, as a... What happened to the lights? Okay. So as I was saying, I really like this this uh, old style atmosphere that they're creating with this, with the graphics and all. Just giving you a creepy vibe. The lights are flickering. Can't be a good sign. Okay, dude. Don't mind me. Huh. Can't see a thing. Oh, there you go. Can I text for help or something? It's taking a while. Hmm. Nothing good in the radio though. Oh, the road is changing, something's happening. Okay. Nah. It's ruining the atmosphere. Plus, I'm not sure if it's copyrighted or not. Very safe, then sorry. I thought something creepy was was about to happen at the gas station. They did mention the bridge though. A lot of people disappearing there and stuff. Not a coincidence. Uh, get the flickering and everything. Do we get to see the lady? Oh, fuck. Do we get to see the lady in blue? What? What was the sound?
There is this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the, the way ahead. Okay. Can we just push them? I guess not. Though I could drive past the logs. Oops, didn't read that part. It almost seemed if someone had deliberately put put it <laughs> those, but I didn't think much at the time. I could put that in the boot. Okay, there you go. Oh, there. Can we move them out of the way? Those were heavy. The, the sounds scared me for a little bit. I something was happening, but it's just the logs. How to move the logs? Okay, fine. There, I moved it. Had to move the logs to go ahead. I already moved them, come on. Yep. It's out of the way. <laughs> Typical predictable, <laughs> but... The car wouldn't start. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled, but uh, I would be lying if I say I didn't feel slight the feel slightest unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers throughout my life, uh-huh. But at that moment I had no choice. Okay. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I'll be taking this, you never know. If you're stranded, you'll be hungry. 10.23 p.m. What time was it when we got stranded? I saw a car nearing. Where? Oh. Hey. It's not nice. Pure evil. I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. This sounds so familiar. I, th I think like I've I've heard these uh, sentences somewhere before. 10:43 p.m. <clears throat> okay. Will it work now? Huh? Worth a try. Hey. Dude, need help. Hey! Oh. Hi, dude. I got some... Got some dog food. You want some? Oh, it's that guy from the... From the petrol, from the gas station. There you go, man. Uh, you're the girl from the gas station. Hey. Hi, thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. Uh, what are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There is no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just the nearest stop where I can uh, call for help. Uh, should I tell him that I...
Just up the road. Hop in, thank you so much. Could, could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry, I just throw it in the bag. I won't be here for too long. Okay. Dogwood is already there. He's not gonna leave without me, right? Okay, one more bag. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Hey, come on. Come on, dude. Don't leave without me. And then, and then I bring the last bag and he leaves because <laughs> it took me so long. Okay, done. Come on. There we go. Hurry, I need to get moving. I'm done. Fine, I'll hop in big, quick. Okay, don't leave without me, please. Let's go. Can we listen to the radio or something? My man. So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say, if that's okay. Uh, I live really close from here. I was driving home. Uh, is that so? Is that uh, in that case? I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. It's okay. I wouldn't trust me either. My name is Jason. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Jason. I'm Holly. Okay, what happens if we don't answer correctly or he doesn't like? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Gee, I wonder why. Such a coincidence. I must say you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was battery. It's an old car. I don't know. That's it? I think so. So, what do you think about what he told you back there at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He's really, he really creeped me out. He's funny. Um, interesting. Idiot tells me that to every person traveling down here. Wouldn't be surprised that this is the guy who's responsible for all of the disappearances so is it true what the monster let's see I've never seen that monster for myself but there are there are some things and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them hey listen I don't want to sound like that moron but just remember this you don't bother uh, you don't bother them and you don't be bothered fair enough You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk, you know, before. I'm not the best with people. Uh, you don't say. Okay. How come I... <laughs> How come I didn't respond? Just... Just silence. Um... Already 12 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Okay. Fair enough. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. 
Uh, be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Are you okay? Should I explore a little bit? Or nah? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> Isn't that the same guy from the gas station? Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Um... For you for a single. Pay cash only, okay. Room number nine, right over there. Ninety dollars time will take care of it next thing in the morning. Um yeah. Good I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. There is always one last thing. Trying to wake uh, the other guests, they might not like take. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, man. So room nine. I uh, I was too low on cash for that. I didn't want it. Consuming this item increases your sprint speed. Oh, cool. convenient so I, I think if I would have if I had told the guy that I'm just gonna be here for a couple of hours something would have happened uh, yeah not gonna check that room number nine six seven where are you at? Eight. There we go. It was a nice and warm inside. Dad, I may, I'm, I may have to stay by motel tonight and there is no service. Just making sure there is no <laughs> hidden cameras. Dude, what the hell? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway in the finest <laughs> stopover in Northwood. Yeah, of course. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Uh, I'll just get my stuff. Please wait outside, I said, to, to get your stuff. Yep. Like I said, probably installing hidden cameras. Hey. So. My stuff is all the way there. How come I can't sprint? Should I buy more coke? Two hands, okay. Fuck. Room service at night.
Yeah, I need one more coke. Otherwise, it's gonna be taking forever. Can I check how much cash I have? Ah, not really. Sure, taking a while. Yep, all done. Pat Pat, for good boys and girls. Okay, they're done. You happy? Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. Uh, uh, I go get, I go get your car, and also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. Oh, sure, it's safe here. Don't worry, the phone is working. Yeah, just go ask my friend, who's also a, a creepy, you know. Uh, we've we've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. <laughs> Jesus. The way the guy is walking. Haha. <laughs> Gonna be less creepy when there's a Superman cartoon in the background. Anything we can do here? What's that sound? It's probably the guy using our car. Anything we can do here? I need to look through the peephole. I didn't need it. Okay. Wow, that's old. Um, there is nothing in here. Already checked, double checked everything. Should I unpack or something? Oh, okay. Or just slip? What? Oh, shh. Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about this place. You don't say. Heard something in the bathroom. Should I go outside? I couldn't just go into any room. Okay, fair enough. I suppose I need to go back to the reception to ask what's going on. Just 
just gonna get some coke in case I need to run. Wow, from this from this far away. Hey, can I get some coke from a mile, mile away? Just okay, as long as it works, I don't mind. Hey, my man, right over here, room number nine. It, it is okay. What about the car? Okay, can't walk into any room. It's fine. What the? What are we supposed to do now? Okay, guess we're back, back to watching Superman. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Okay, noted. She means need to go out to get coffee. I feel like I've seen. Coffee machine here somewhere. I can hear the Superman cartoon from all over there. Oh yeah, nice. Yep. Uh, consuming these items helps you to stay awake. Is that important? Can I fall asleep actually? Can I actually fall asleep? What? What? Hey! Well... That's a total lie. It's not helping me at all. Was the coffee drugged or something? Ah... Uh, Help me, Superman! Superman! Superman, give me strength! Jesus! Ah. Uh, okay, uh, the controls are messed up as well. Okay. Oh my god. What the... Okay, okay. Sleep. Okay. Am I being kidnapped? 3.18 a.m. I was... I was sedated, wow. And I hear that I was some strong coffee. Huh? I thought the phone was broken. Superman in the background so I can be less scared. How oh, was that the closet then? <laughs> God damn it. Oh Jesus. I definitely I definitely didn't expect that. Like, I was expecting something, but like, not this kind of jump scare, you know? 
Okay, lesson learned. Wait. Auto saved, please. Don't make me replay this game. 1208, okay. I think it's at the point where uh, he dropped me a bum. Oh no. They offered me roadside assistance beside through la la la. Well, I guess we're replaying that. Right, so I did everything I did before. Um, just need to get rid of this guy. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's lie down. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Ooh. Yikes. Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Get up. Yep. No one in the closet now. Feeling of tiredness was overcoming over. Okay, hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. Yep. I was sedated. That's what's gonna happen. Will it help if I drink coke first and then the coffee? Let me try. Assuming the silence increases your sprint speed. Yep. Here we go. Better than nothing. Not, not that much faster, but still. Mm, delicious espresso. Oh, delicious espresso. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh. Oh. How come... How come nothing happened at first? Did it... Oh, yeah. So, instead of walking forward, I'm... If I want to walk forward, I need to walk backwards. If I want to turn left, I turn right. Superman, help me. Superman, I need you. Ah, Superman. Okay, if the guy is hiding in the closet, uh, how about I just go outside to the front desk and see what happens? Huh? Three eighteen a.m. Or should I grab a bag of dog food for protection? I was sedated. You don't say. Where's all my stuff? Oh. Can I just leave? Didn't feel safe going out. Well... You don't feel safe going out, what? Can I barricade the guy? Barricade the fuck out of him. Anything else? I didn't need it. You just got drugged. You don't need the pills? Okay, see? No one's out there. How about we go? Didn't feel safe. Oh, come on. So. 
Anything I can do in the bathroom? If nothing's gonna work, the guy will jump out and the game's gonna be over, which means I need to do something else. Need to pick some other action. Need to stay in this hotel maybe just for a couple of hours. I've got, I really got really bad goosebumps. Hey dude, come on bro, come on bro, have some dog food, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, goosebumps. Okay, I suppose I need to do something else in this case. So, auto saved. Instead of staying here for the entire night, how about we try and tell the guy that we just want to stay here for a couple of hours, really. Okay. Can't sleep anyway, so what's the point? Just gonna get some coke first. To be a little faster. How much is it for a room? Yes, I only be staying here for 40 for a single. Pay cash only. Okay, so same thing. But I didn't pay for the car. Room number 9, right over there. Hey. Or maybe it's gonna be... Sit hmm. I'll let Tommy know. And one more thus thing. Try not to be... Uh, la la la. Okay. So he says same thing, we're doing the same thing as well. Masky smell like from old houses. What are you doing here? You scrapped the... Okay, I should be asking you. Hehehehe, <laughs> who are you? What are you doing in here? I'm Tommy, la la la. Uh, uh-huh. So even if we say something else, it's still the same outcome. I'll just get my stuff. Wait, I just had an idea. What if I was supposed to say something else to the guy who was giving me a ride to the motel was i was i supposed to be here maybe if i would have told him if i had told him something else he wouldn't have dropped me off at at the hotel So, the coffee is drugged, we have to drink the coffee because we can't sleep. So it's gonna be the same outcome, really. That guy's still standing there. Jesus. This is my car. Get some coke. Oh, wait. Does that mean I can actually get something else? I just realized I can switch. 
Consume these items to increase your sprint speed. Meat snack. Does that make any difference if I buy different snacks? Um, okay, try chocolate. Oh wow, it's so much faster now. Holy crap, how come I didn't think of this before? And, I, I, and I've been looking directly at those triangles before, like it's obviously a, a sign that you can switch between the items or something, but I never... Hey, 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 hey! What about the phone? The guy said it's not working, but it was raining when, when I woke up, which means it's bullshit. Okay, pretend that we're gonna sleep. Someone's taking a leak. And I can't get up. Hey, dude. Call it the foresight, but there was something off of this place. Yeah, yeah. Can't tell. I haven't seen him hot cup of coffee what if I instead of t okay I guess it explains why <laughs> the coffee is drugged the espresso machine is right next to his door okay here it goes uh, super slow. Wow. Superman, where are you when we need you? Hey, 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 what if I take the pills instead? Instead of sleeping? I didn't need it. Come on, really? You're drugged. Can I do something else? suppose not. Can I at least block the door? Okay, screw it. Just go to bed. Although I tried the phone before, it didn't work. Three eighteen. I was sedated. There we go. What's the point of staying in bed?
Okay, whatever I do, I don't wanna... Who is it? Open the door to nothing. Joe from the front desk, open the door. Eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> On one hand, if I don't open the door, I'm gonna be screwed by the guy hiding in the closet. On the other hand, the guy is obviously that idiot's friend. So... Um, God, it's a difficult choice. Open the door, get screwed, or do nothing. Hi, dude. Are you here to kill me? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't. I have complaints. Why are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here I've got enough for you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. <laughs> Come, dude. I'll show you the coffee machine. So... Is that guy just pretending not to be in cahoots with the other one? Oh, and it's gone conveniently. Of course. The slow walk and the music as well. Go back to the room. I swear to God I was right here. Uh, what is it? What happened? I said go back now. Did you not hear me? I said to go back in the room and don't get out. Check the table by the telly. Um, I want to get some chocolate first. Wouldn't make a difference if I asked him why. Try this, the most expensive one. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yep, can't do anything here, so I'll just be going back to my hotel room. And the guy's gone. Check the table by the telly. Huh? Which one? The pills, of course. Requires water. Don't you be jumping out, mister. Jesus. It's... Screw you, dude. Screw you. Screw you. I'm not looking at you. How can you trust these people and just take random pills from that you find you just found them in the room? What the hell? And this way of thinking, basically you, you, you drank the coffee, you got drugged. How can you trust anything in this hotel? Especially some pills in your room, right? Ah uh, Superman cartoon. Yeah. Am I gonna fall asleep? No? Okay, fine. Didn't feel safe to go out. Huh? What? Someone took a picture. Who the...
Hello? Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Not gonna work on me. You seriously think I'm that stupid dude? I know you're in there. <laughs> well, of course you do. I just spoke to you. Please, open the door. Do nothing. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away. I'm not going to um, uh, go away and, or I'm calling, going to call cops. Pretty late. Come on. I think that was a bad idea. Ah, uh, help. Help. try and replay same same basically gonna try and do same thing I did last time hopefully gonna survive just need to make sure I don't respond to the guy at the door I don't think I can hide though if I decide to hide in the closet the guy is still there right go someone's taking pictures again I'm gonna talk to him. Hello? Dude, go screw yourself. Hello? Hello? Is he just gonna stay there? Why do you want? I need some help. <laughs> open the door. Of course, I'm not gonna open the door. Um, just do nothing. I know you're in there. Because if I tell him I'm gonna call the police, I know you're in. I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. Can I just ignore him? Try and find a sl fall asleep? just keeps knocking can hide in the closet though can I? 
If I open the door, he's gonna attack me. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Okay. What the heck? And I saw you could you could tell there was a bar, which means it was listening to my mic. If I would make any noise, the guy would find me. To this day, I find it li literally weird that the manager interfered not to get the police involved, and it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cold or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I, n I never went along on long on road trips and I would always take airplanes oh well what do you know that's all I had to do basically yeah to be honest I'm looking forward to play in other parts of this as well seems pretty interesting um, it did give me uh, creepy vibe vibes but uh, not as scary as I thought, to be honest. I'll catch you guys in the next one.